Hello, I'm Jake Feynman, your host, back with another thrilling episode in our Bird Dog Cloud tutorial series. Today's episode is all about bringing your streams to life on your devices. We'll be venturing into the world of our Cloud Connect suite of applications and sending streams from a cloud endpoint to our mobile devices, smart TVs, and even Bird Dog Plays. We will create an outgoing connection and send that to an iPad for live real-time viewing. So if you're ready to level up your bird dog cloud know-how, get your endpoint online and your devices ready, and let's get streaming. Let's start by heading to our cloud dashboard and creating a new outgoing connection. This time we will select the third option for our Cloud Connect streams. Next, select the source you want to broadcast. These can be your live PTZ cameras, software NDI sources, or any baseband video you've transcoded to NDI with your favorite bird dog converter. Next, we decide on our transmission type. We can have a one-to-one -one connection with our receiver or broadcast that stream to enable multiple viewers to watch the same stream simultaneously. Let's select our destination group. We call these Cloud Connect groups. We'll have an entire episode on branding and customizing your Cloud Connect groups for your productions, so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Now comes the connection type. We have single, multi-view, and data channels. This time we're gonna be opting for a multi-view stream. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We'll jump over to our multi-view configuration tab for our powerful options. We have an auto grid, which adjusts the grid according to the number of streams sent. Four sources will create a two by two grid, while five to nine sources will create that three by three grid. The two by eight option is perfect for team-wide live production distribution. I like sending my program and preview streams and eight additional sources to my entire production team. Then we have their presenter mode. This is an absolute gem that deserves its own video. It's a feature rich tool to put on presentations, create picture in picture splits, and is the backbone for our post-production editorial collaboration workflow with Adobe. Excitingly, we cover this in our next episode. Until then, we'll return to auto grid and pick my four sources, a P4K, a PF120, our cloud screen capture, and a bird dog converter. For further customization, we can select any NDI stream as the audio source for the multi-view, enabling us to build and distribute exactly the production content required for your viewers. To top it off, we can include informational overlays like the source name and active tally information, as well as audio meters. For advanced options, we can fine tune the frame rate, set the resolution, choose the NDI quality, and even pick the render device processing from CPU to GPU. Once done, we loop back to the first tab and set the display name, giving our stream a descriptive content for what we're sending. We can even add a card image for that extra touch of personalization. You can easily drag and drop a photo right into cloud. Time to press connect. Now comes the real fun. We'll jump over to our iPad to see the multi-view we just created. We'll open our Bird Dog Cloud Connect application, click on the Cloud Connect group we're streaming into, log in with our group password, and there it is. With just a press of a play button, our streams are live, ready to be viewed anywhere in the world. That's all for today's episode on sending our streams to our Cloud Connect application suite. We're just scratching the surface on what Bird Dog Cloud can offer. In the next episode, we'll dive deeper into post-production editorial workflows, taking advantage of the full brand new Bird Dog Cloud Transmitter plugin for Adobe. We'll stream our timeline and program outputs from Adobe Premiere directly to our iPads and Apple TVs, all through Bird Dog Cloud Connect. You won't want to miss it. To learn more about Bird Dog and our groundbreaking solutions, visit our website at birddog.tv. If you have any questions or need further information on the topics we covered today, please email us at hello at birddog.tv. For all of our Bird Dog community who might need technical support, drop us a line at help at birddog.tv. We're always happy to assist. Thanks for joining me today. Remember, keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep creating amazing content. See you in the next episode. Until then, happy producing.